Welcome to Perth's number one podcast. You're listening to the Jamo and Dylan Show. Yeah, yeah, we're on the way to Dunsbra, a little mad trip with the boys. We're celebrating. G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of the Jamo and Dylan Show. It is episode 210 today. How are you, Dil? I'm good. Yourself? Good. Yeah, I'm good today. I'm going well. It's been productive so far. Yeah, we're getting a lot of work done, some BTV prep. Recording on Friday today, like you said, getting that BTV prep done and Whose sorted. Whose punchings are picked for that. They are a very fun. versatile group of people. Yeah, we've covered every base. We, we actually have. have. Not every base because there's a lot of bases yeah, today. The, the main ones. The main bases. Yeah, there's some variety in there. Base one, two, three and home play. Exactly, I yeah. reckon. So we've got that sorted and we've also got some other stuff to do yep. in regards to that. And we're also catching up with Drewsy, who we haven't seen for I months know, and months and months. Away travelling around the world. A year. around Europe. He was gone for a year. So I'm sure yeah. he'll have some stories to tell us, mate. Most definitely. I'm excited. Christmas is around the corner, Dill. I wanted to have a little chat about it's it. It's really here, isn't it? Um, there's a lot of pros and cons about Christmas. Obviously, yep. the pros is the magic of Christmas. Yep. It brings people together. Families come together. You see people you haven't seen for a long time. It's a great time of the year for that. Gift giving. Yep. I like giving gifts. Yep. Um, how are you as a gift receiver? Pretty good? I'm a good gift receiver. Yeah. Like, There's not much I want these days. Yeah, same. That's so. the problem. That's the problem for me as well. I struggle. Like when people ask me, oh, what yep. am I getting you for Christmas? I honestly, like I, I struggle. Yep. So I made a like a solid effort this year to sit down for like a whole day and just think. Have a list. And think. And I came up with a list that I gave to Grace. And then um, the problem is with me as well is that my birthday is around the corner. Yeah. It's in a week from recording day today. And it's hard to give people two gifts in one. Exactly. I struggle with that. I mean, there's a 10-day gap between me and Christmas. So I'm thinking, well, so then, some, then I just say, okay, just get me one thing. See, that's a good compromise. Yeah, people like you make it difficult, actually. The December babies. Yeah, well, I didn't, I didn't choose My nephew. It, no, sorry, my niece, my brother, my sister-in-law. It's yeah. hard, bro. You're not buying for all year round. Then you've yeah. got to hit them with a double. Come on. So, wait, nine months. What's nine months back from now? What's the third month? March. March. So, mum and dad fornicated in March. Is March a busy month? What's going on in March, Must bro? be, because my is sister is only two days... Apart from Why me, is everyone getting busy in March? But then you were your April baby, right? Yep. So that is four months back would be the nine months. Oh yeah, yeah. and then go five months. I don't like July. Yeah. Okay. Winter. Yeah, July. Yeah. Winter in America would make sense because like July fourth, there's probably he- heaps of April babies in America. True. In Australia, I don't know. Well, it must have just been a good day, bro. Cozy a cold day. winter's day. Yeah. Got to get warm. Is. Yeah, but March, what's going on in March? Because, see, having a baby in April would make more sense because there's a lot of holidays around there. You've got yes. the Anzac Day, Easter, mm-hmm. you know, school holidays. March, though. Must, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'll have to ask. See, there's a lot of December I'll have babies, to bro. to ask. But, yeah, it's a beautiful but stressful time, Christmas. It is. Yeah. So there's a lot to get done. I don't like shopping around the Christmas time, so I do a lot of it online. Yeah, that's it's a hassle going to the shops when it's very, very busy. Yeah, as soon as the school holidays start. And I find that around Christmas time, everyone's so stressed, so they're rude. Yep, the so, roads are crazy. Yep. People just lose all manners. They don't know how to behave in public. Mm-hmm. At the shops, they're cutting in and out, bro. It's disgusting. No etiquette. Exactly. But it just gets me thinking back to the good days of Christmas when we were younger and we were believers and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like... That the magic of Christmas, the night before, you're thinking, damn boy, I'm getting gifts dropped It's crazy, off. bro, how, like, much you believe it. Yeah. In your heart yeah. and soul, you know it's true. Yeah. That's what's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. And, like, when Santa would come and you'd wake up and you're just like, holy fuck, yeah. like, no way, Yeah, bro. my sack's full this it's morning, Santa. wild, bro. Oh. I remember mum and dad would, like, I think a lot of parents do. They go the extra mile to try and like mm. make it magic. And they'd leave like a Santa bell like outside and say that it fell off the sleigh. Yeah, mine would leave yeah. like sometimes a half eaten carrot, mm, say that the yeah. reindeer dropped it, or yeah, and I'd yeah. be like, whoa, no way. Like it's just dad in the middle of the night. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Classic <laughs> cookie and milk <laughs> shit. Yeah, like, bro. That cookies always, bitten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a beer or something. Some trails. Yeah. It's, bro, it's honestly, it's what magic. A time, it's going to be fun I, to do it when we're parents. That's what I was thinking. I think 
when you're a child, obviously it's, it's magic. a magical time. Then there's this weird period where you're a non-believer and you're an you're, adult. You're, you're an adult, you don't but have kids then of your own. when you have kids of your own, I think back. the magic comes because you back. make it happen for them, and you mm. would feel so excited seeing them like light you know up. what, looking at your kid. Looking them in the eyes and their eyes are glistening. They're like, Santa came. Yeah, glistening. They see a little spark. Oh. They're like, I heard a noise last night. I heard noises. What's the best present you ever got from Santa? Probably the World Cup Jabalani ball. Yeah. That was a, Official? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. It was crazy, bro. I didn't... I was, Santa did me well. What's happened to that ball now? I still have it. It's just all like misshapen yeah, now. Right. And, but I remember at the time, I was just like, holy fuck. Yeah. This is just incredible. Mine was one of the PlayStations. Can't remember oh, which sick. one, but like I got the PlayStation. I couldn't believe it because I was thinking, how how are the elves made that then? Yep. Yep. They've got to make millions of them. Yeah. PlayStation. I think I, I remember getting a Wii on Christmas. It was unbelievable. Mm. I think I got a PS, I want to say four for Christmas. Yep. And it, I was just like, holy fuck. I remember my cousins also got one on the same day. And then we like went on FIFA on Christmas Day and got to play for like an hour. That's magic. Getting yeah. a new console on Christmas is just, it's, oh, you just can't believe it. It's incredible. But yeah, this will obviously come out a little bit before Christmas, but hopefully it fills you with a bit of happiness and yeah. joy for this wonderful this time of the year. It, isn't it? Most definitely. How have our weeks looked since last podcast? Last, what, Thursday? You went away, little trip? Yeah, me and Carly went down south for two days to mm -hmm. Bustleton, so that was fun. We did you stay in Bustleton? Yeah, we did. And, and then, then drove we to We went Margaret to Margaret River. River for one like day just to hang out and walk yep. around and chill. So nice area. You know, Recharge the batteries? Town. Yeah, it was good. We wanted to go away for a little bit mm -hmm. just to get some time away mm -hmm. together because and December's so busy, like we just had her sister's um kids birthday so that was a massive oh, how did that go the first it was good it was busy there was like uh, probably there must have been 80 people there yeah so it was a big day like a big day of drinking too went for a long um time but it went well all yes. the prep came in handy and everyone had fun so lovely it stuff. was a good day and then yeah it was good to get away and relax and spend some time together it's yeah. good to have your own little place you know when yes, you, with is. your girlfriend like because obviously we're in the same boat where you're between this house or and your girlfriend's mm -hmm. house and you're always surrounded by people. Yeah. So it's nice to just play adults and play have adults. your own house. You know what <laughs> As I mean? As we are go adults. Shopping. It's yeah. so funny. It's fun, oh, bro. No, and it is. Yourself, you went to Spilt Milk. Yes, I did. Um, interesting night. It yep. was good fun. It was with a good group of people. I was with two groups of people. I was with all the boys for yep. pre's and then... Like as we entered the festival, then I met up with Grace and her friends. Yeah. And then right at the end of the night, um, during the last set or just before the last set, I bumped into a few of the boys and oh, that's good. Um, was with them for the end. So yeah, it was good, enjoyable. But I was telling you just before we started, there's some people who don't approach us correctly. No. No. This so, was interesting. So obviously... There's plenty of you guys who came up and said hello and it was lovely to meet you and I appreciate you guys and I appreciate the way you did it, the manner in which you did it. It was very nice and you come up and go, hey, big fan of the potty. Don't want to take too much of your time. I just want to hello. Can I get a photo? Yeah. yeah. No problem. Stuff, right? I've got all the time in the world for those people. And then there was this one bloke as I walked in. Upon who, entry. Who came up to me and was like, he was all over the place. I believe he was on a substance of some kind. Under the influence. And he wasn't making much sense at all. He goes, oh, you, you're the guy from TikTok. Now, this voice will annoy you, but I'm going to do it because this is what I was hearing. Exactly. You're the guy from TikTok. I'm thinking, okay. Yeah, that's Sunny's on or not? Do you have some glasses on? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, yeah, that's me. Sometimes I don't like saying it. Because then I'll con like if I say no, nah, I'm not. Then I confuse them and they'll leave. Yeah, but I felt nice and I was giving and I was like, yeah, that's me, that's me. And he goes, oh well, I've seen you on my phone and that and like you're not the, you're not an inspiration to me at all or anything. But I've started my own show and like I'll you I'll come on your show one day. And I was like, okay. Not a, so you see, that's already like a bit of a rough start. Oh, you're not really an inspiration. And I don't expect to be an inspiration to people. That, that's not... But you don't need to say it. No. But then he goes... You're not claiming to be. Then he was like, but you, you kind of, like, in a way, you kind of are an inspiration. And, like, he was going back and forth between this inspiration thing. And this has gone on for five minutes, yeah. right? And then he starts talking about, like, um, 
how he wants to be like a fitness influencer okay. and stuff, right? Was so he I, in shape? You reckon himself? He's all right. Normal. Like he's yeah. not not like a gym lad, but he's like standard. Yeah, yeah. And then he was talking about the journey and stuff, and then he went back to, yeah, you don't inspire me much. I'm thinking, okay, like I've heard it. Now. You know, look, man, I'm I'm coming up to you. you yeah, you don't inspire yeah. me, bro. Like, I guess you're all right. Then he was like, can we get a pick? Oh, fuck off. That's fucking stupid. Then, then this is where it, it started to annoy me. He goes, oh, I lost my mates and that. You mind if I chill with you for a bit? Uh, meanwhile, I'm with my mates trying to find my girlfriend. Did they hear you? They were all happening? Were they they were like kind of like dickhead? 10 metres ahead. Yeah. I was slowing them down, like yeah. unfortunately. Anyway. They're so, about to leave you with him, bro. Yeah. So we keep walking, keep walking. And then he's still hanging around. He goes... Oh, if you want me to leave, just tell me, man. If you want me to leave, just tell me. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go and see my girlfriend and You're her mates. you trying to do it in a nice way. Like, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. going this way. You yeah. go that way. Yeah. I said, I'm actually going to go up there now because it was like a walk up a few steps and whatnot. Yeah, clam on showground. So, yeah. So I thought this would be like the, the bye-bye moment. He goes, no, no, I'll come up and say That's, hi. Oh, he's and doubling down. Yeah, he was like, I want to meet him and stuff. Like, you can introduce me to your girl's friends and stuff. And I was like, mate, like, honestly... I appreciate you coming up to me, but it, <sighs> the road is closed. Like, it's, time it's over now. Yeah. yeah, Let's go our separate ways. Yeah. And he goes, you really going to leave me like that? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, well, I don't know who my friends are. You're going to dog me. Oh, my God. Bro. I was like, mate, I'm genuinely, I'm off. And I just started walking the other way. It was an Wait. awkward, awkward Wait. interaction. Wait, come back. I thankfully didn't get that. I walked away quite fast. Yeah. Briskly. Um, but no, what a, nah, people like that. It was bro. annoying. I understand, like, maybe he had good intentions, but because he was so under the influence, he was not delivering any message in the right way. Very touchy as well. I wonder well. if he, he remembers it. it. Oh, touchy too. Yeah, like grabbing me and like dapping up probably 10 Fuck times. It. Fuck it, man. You know when they do a oh, big, mate. The big slap? I, I was bro. getting them on the shoulder, like big oh. slaps on the shoulder. And like, just put yourself in this situation, guys. You're walking through a festival. You get slapped on the shoulder. You think it's either a close friend. Or an attacker. Or an attacker. So you turn around quickly and you'll be like, oh, you dickhead. Or you'll be like, okay, it's on. <laughs> I get slapped on the shoulder, turn around. You're the dickhead from the podcast. I love you. You're the, you're the TikToker. Yeah. Oh, so loud. And then everyone turns Bro, I, around. That, that's the thing is I find that's the worst bit when they fucking scream it. Yeah. When you're in a line and they shout it, I'm just like, are you simple, bro? Yeah. No, it's a, it can be annoying, but hey, we chose this road, is, didn't we? We chose Fucking this hell. road. Um, I hurt my ankle again, Dill. Yeah, you did. Absolute Made nightmare. Some superstars. Yeah, so basically, you guys know I play six aside on a Thursday night, six aside football, soccer, whatever you call it. And um, we're playing the other work team. So there's two teams from the same workplace. And we rock up and there's only a few of the work guys there. And they brought in all of these ring-ins yep. who've played for the Birth Glory. One of the blokes played for Australia. You know, eh? by the way, they're looking to... One of the, our mates were like, oh, we should let Glory know that their, their player, their contracted player is playing, playing six, six aside, aside on, on a, a dodgy pitch. Yeah. But um, no, we lost 5-3. Got on the score sheet, which was good, but... No, nah, we lost to a much better team at the end of the day, but it wasn't the team we signed up to play. Exactly. You know what I mean? Which is very Bring unfortunate. Bring in the ring-ins, bro. I don't rate it. It happens too um, much in casual sport. It, it's cheap. In it's, social it's sport. dirty. Yep. And it, it's quite disgusting for a Thursday night social league. It's not a good way to play. To be honest. And that's not me being a sore loser. That's me just being a realist. I mean, we've come up against it. I remember we played against a team in Bibra Lake at that pro futsal place. Yep. And they completely just changed their five to a different five. I think we still beat them. We played a grand, even at Coburn, our grand final, they brought a new player in to be goalie. Yes. Superstar. He was good as well, yeah. Come on. Yeah, annoying. They were fucking geeks, bro. Annoying. Um, but yeah, you and I were talking about vacant businesses yes. near us. Now, I quite like going to a subway near me. Yep, um, sitting in the car park and eating my food in car there. park lunch is elite. Yeah, big fan. I do this probably once a week. I thoroughly enjoy it. I listen to a podcast. Lock them doors. I lock them doors, Same, mate. I always because lock doors. this area is dodgy, and you the people you see are from all walks of life. Yes. 
um, with all different occupations or non-occupations mm. and the businesses that some of these people run are not real. You're like, how are they affording the rent of these shops? Right. A4 piece of paper with um, permanent marker. That's the shop name. Come on. Not even printing a pet, like, page out. What? And how are they affording the stock, the supplies? Like you said, there's no one ever in these stores. I'm talking restaurant, supplement store, um, skincare. And there's no one ever They've in They've got to be money laundering, right? And then what I've noticed, sometimes they walk out and they're on their phone and they'll look around, they look really suspicious, and then they duck back into their little cave. Oh. They're like rabbits come out of their hole. and they so They've been told, like, go check the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's like waiting for a delivery, yeah, like waiting for that pack Marco's going to gonna come and like yeah, drop Marco. off some things, bro. Don't ask questions, Silvio. Yeah. yeah. These guys. Don't open them boxes, boy. Dwayne is yeah. going to come through with the van, the sprinter. Oh. Unmarked vehicle, bro. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. Oh, and it's yeah. just funny. You and I like people watching. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just We've always there. done that. Yeah, I remember we used to do it like shops and stuff. But we'd always be sitting there eating something, nibbling yeah. on something. Well, there was the one bloke at Livingston. You yeah, he's yeah. He's still there. Really? I, when I work, he's around. Still drunk? Out, yeah. Yeah. Still, some days he's He was on that others. passion pop. But, oh, they don't. Let him buy drinks from our one anymore. Yeah, that's been fair. blacklisted. But so um, have you had to serve him yet or no? No, I haven't. Okay. No. But um, he's still, I think he's on a lot of other things too. Yes, so, yes, most know, likely. Fair play, bro. That's yeah. how you want to live. Also, next week, um, the day after my birthday, the Saturday, we're looking at going to Dice. Yeah. And Dear Sunday. Dice X, Dear Sunday with it's Joshua Rognetta. Rognetta. So it's Dice and Dear Sunday take two. Because we missed out on the last one. so um, Is that Indian Ocean Hotel? Yep, Indie Bar they Indy call bar. it. So off to Indie Bar and we might see some of you there, might In not. Scarborough. But God, it'll be good fun. I think it'll be a fun night. It will. I'm like trying to imagine where we'll do pre's. I, know, I just want to do Rog's house. Because it's just Scarborough so far. Yeah. Like. Rog kind of owes us. I think Rog owes us. For many things. Then we can just make our way there, get a little Uber, mm. Sprinter, you know. We've got Uber Premium. Yeah, we were thinking of staying at a hotel nearby, but then the cost was crazy. Over $500 for a standard room. That's wild, bro. What? Ridiculous. It's extortionate prices. Ridiculous. And Rog, we also had an update. So last week we told the Julio v. Rog story. Mm. Obviously we're at the races, you know, there was some back and forth and Rog emoted on him. He did. With a shaka, a thumbs up and an A-OK sign. Yep. Julio reached out to us, right? No bad blood. And he just said he was in disbelief of those like signs, sim- symbols, whatever. In real life. Being emoted on like that in real life. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. I think- To be shackered. Thumbs up and okay. So what you boys thought was him being angry. Because was of the girl pure, who set us up. Pure disbelief. And then Rog was trying to, and he was just in disbelief. He's probably going, what? What, what did? I what just, just happened shaking. to me? What? It's like back in the day when someone would dab in front of you and you're thinking, did that just happen? Yeah. Something like so that. So I can, I can see where he's coming from. He was in disbelief. Yeah. And he um, was. That's fair. That's oh, well, fair. Rog's had a big week, hasn't he? He has. I won't talk about it. But He's got his work Christmas party tonight. You no, know, he does. I'm so excited. I get excited for his work Christmas Same. party. Same. I like when he's out and about and living. Yeah. And, um, you know, he's with the maintenance lads. They have their little get together. Mm-hmm. They do a, because that's what Rog does, obviously, as you all know, is a maintenance man at a school. So I call him a gardener. But yeah. yeah. They, um, they have their little get together. While the graduation the mass is going on yep. and the lads, you know, catch up on the ear, talk about all the, the grass Shenanigans and Shenanigans and that. And um, then what happens? They they attend the graduation maybe and then... I don't know. And they move on and they end off up at market to grounds. market grounds. Is that where it was last it time? It was there last oh, year too. Oh, fond memories. That seems the like dog. the go-to place for a work Christmas party. Yeah, mine was there last year. Yeah. Trolls. Mine was the Lakers, but I didn't go <laughs> Do you know what I dislike? My, uh, the reason my company does it, my work does it at Lakers, is because the company owns it. Oh. So they get like 50% off food, but I'm like, it's just 50% off your own food. Like, it's not yeah. a discount. Like, you stingy fucking. <laughs> it's at Lakers, bro. Like, 
what? Come on, son. <laughs> That's funny. Going to Lakers for a lunch, bro. <laughs> for a dinner. <laughs> Fuck me. But yeah, Christmas parties for everyone. They can often get quite rowdy. I've never been to one. I've never been to a work Christmas party in my life, bro. How many have I been to? Three? Four? They all good? I went three Christmas parties, one financial year party. Have you gone this year? No, nah, it's actually tomorrow, but I won't be going with this oh, okay. f- ankle of mine. Yeah. We will not be going. I can't walk properly at the moment. I'm hobbling around in pain. It's not good, but Where's it at? Your one this year. Market grounds? Arbor. 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 Mm, nice. The Arbor. Nice. Wait, the Arbor? Yeah, in free. No, the Avery. That's Avery. What I yeah, the that's Avery. nice too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Back to Beyond the Valley for a quick second. We need a lift home. We're going to look at some options after this, but we just pray. Is there anyone in the Melbourne slash Geelong area? Anywhere around there. Put your hands together, Dool. Yeah. Is there anyone in the Melbourne or Geelong area that can give us a lift on the morning of New Year's Day? Yeah. Which is New Year's Eve night. In the AM of the first. We're talking like 2, 3 AM type areas. Whatever... However you're getting home, a party bus. There are five of us. I don't know. There's got to be something. Five of us. So regular car probably won't cut it. But I genuinely would lay in the back in the boot just to get it through. But yeah, let us know, please, if there's anyone. If there's an older listener who's not having a big night on New Year's. We'll pay. We'll pay. I don't care. We will pay. Oh, please. Because See what happens, bro. Dylan and I have this fear that we'll be left there. In Baruna Plains, bro. With no way home and we'll be there forever. Then that we'll never get phone connection. We'll never have a charger. The festival will pack up and we'll be there stranded alone. But we hope that the power of the people and the listeners, we can find a way somehow. Um, Europe deal. We yes. are getting closer to the booking stage. It's a big year in Europe next year and for us as well. You and Carly have been doing your plans. Grace and I have been doing our plans and we're nearly there. Um, we're actually looking at going to the Olympic Games. Yep, yep. Dabble in some events there. Obviously not participating, but we can view. It's expensive. I had Bro, a, it's crazy. I had a look at the, the prices. tickets to like... Did you see the finals? What they're... Yeah. Oh, we won't oh. be able to see that, bro. But even like... The tickets to, you know, and it's only like five hour slots too, mm. which is interesting. So I it's guess expensive, but it's worth it. In, like it's, it's once in a Once lifetime. every four years. Do you Sing. reckon the Olympics worldwide, so no matter which mm. country it's in, prices yep. are pretty much locked Ooh, at the I same? don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if there's a little bit of a premium on a place like Paris or something. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Imagine how much accommodation and stuff's going to go up as well during yeah, that time. Bro. I wonder how many people go to the Olympics, like travel there for it. Probably heaps. heaps. Half a mil, maybe? Heaps, bro. But yeah, we'll try to uh, make our way there to watch a couple of events just to, you know, say that we've been there. and It's a bucket list. Most definitely. And then Grace and I and one of her, a couple of her friends are thinking of going to Tomorrowland, which would be an incredible experience. Um, so yeah. And then once we do those things, off to England, which is where many of you guys are from. Um, who I'm knows? Excited, we might bro. we might meet you at a pub or something. Like we're over there just having a little pub feed, and then someone meets us. I'm excited to go there. It'll be so good. I was yesterday the tattoo artist I was seeing. She's English, right? Mm-hmm. And she was telling me about Premier League games. Oh, and she yeah. was just saying how incredible it is. Yeah. She just said the atmosphere is just unbelievable. Like it's so much fun. She said England. And the UK in general is a really great place to visit. She said to live, not as much. Yeah. But to visit, she's like, it's so much fun. It's just a big city, lots to do, like endless areas to explore. Just a good time, bro. It's going to be great. And obviously we'll look at doing a few episodes over there guest-wise. Yeah, definitely. Um, Connect with some people. Exactly. Take advantage of the time we have over there. Build some lifelong connect connections. but um, Catch up with some old friends. Oh, yeah. If they still like us, if they'll still have us, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, <sighs> uh, But, yeah, no, it's exciting times. And, obviously, we'll update you guys on what um, Europe will look like for us. And, obviously, the podcast will probably still continue during that time. It yep. just might look different we'll in terms best. of um, how it will look. But, yeah, we got sent a message from old mate Jay. We did. So... 
everyone's house, right? Everyone's nana's house mm. has this illusion. Now, it's those Royal Danish biscuits in the blue tin. Blue tin, f- yeah. We'll pop the photo up. Golden biscuits. And I love those biscuits. I yeah. think they taste incredible, they the right? shortbreads, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. And they're just so, so good. But you open that up, right? And what's mm-hmm. in their sewing equipment? Yep. Every, Every time, time, bro. Yeah. Every time, little needles because none things like that looks pretty. It is a pretty little tin, like it is. And she puts the sewing machine, it's such an enticing tin for for kids. Yeah, like you really want to go there. Also, the um, the long wafer sticks, the chocolate wafer sticks, yes, bro. They to be fair, most of the time they did have wafers in them, though. Yeah, but I know what you mean. Nana always had those. I remember one of the biggest shocks I had when first visiting Carly's house yep. was what they do with their um, like red sauce for pasta and stuff. Yeah, so they yeah. make lots of it and keep it in the freezer. Yep. But they freeze it in ice cream tubs. So the first time, you know, you go in the freezer, open up a tub of Peter's vanilla ice cream, and it's full of like pasta sauce, bro, red yeah. tomato. And I was just shocked. Do you want that ice cream at the time? You were like, yeah. So it's a, it's a. I was in disbelief. I was like, what? And Kylie's like, oh yeah, like this is what we do. This is what you know. I've what had do this a, a lot in my life. Like it, it does yeah. hurt sometimes, and it's just, I'll never forget the first, bro. It's a wild memory. That hurts, but yeah, does, man. That nan's biscuit, boy. Yeah, they were them sours. Nan's biscuit. And Elliot has sent in a few things for us to talk about. Yes, sir. He, um, he's very active in the show too. Yes. G'day, lads. Love the potty. Got a small topic to discuss on the show. Here are the top five average feelings, right? So these are his top five average feelings. Wait, average? Just so when you you know, when something's maybe about to happen, I think. Oh, so okay. he goes, the feeling of waking up and you know you're sick. Yeah. You know, okay. you got the so throat sore, average as like, in like, yeah, bad. like you're feeling bad. Yeah. You got that temperature. You just feel unwell. And like he says here, you got to brace for the day ahead and yeah, the next yeah. few days. Like, you know you're not healthy, It's you know? interesting because I had that a couple of days ago and then, like, after one day, I was actually all right. Yeah. So you skipped it. I skipped it, but yeah. I thought that it would hurt. It's important, bro. Definitely. Yeah. That is an average feeling. And then he said, oh, this is a, you know, we've all experienced this. The moment your card declines, mm. no matter what the reason. Yep. See, I've had, because I would always, I always make sure I have the money. Yeah. But there's been one or two times where for some reason it doesn't scan properly. Yeah. And I just like, your heart sinks and you're like, no. I don't like keeping much money on my card I use in, in case, case I lose it. Yeah. Right? So it's happened to me a few times, but normally what I'll do, because I hate that feeling, before I'll go into a shop. You can top up with what you think yeah. you need. Like I always like to have a couple hundred floating in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where normally where I lie, like a 200 I yeah. always have in there. But um, yeah, it is a scary and a sad time, and yeah, you do right. feel less of a person, even though yeah, you know, money's not everything. Everything drops, you know, your stomach. Yeah. Epic, what I try and do line behind you, oh. if it happens, I'll go. What I do now, if it declines, I'll be like, I oh, no worries, give me five seconds. And I'll be so quick with it. I'm, oh, you're just rapid? Yeah, with the transfer. Some I'm people like, don't care and they take a very long time to, yeah. to fix the situation. You know right? what? what's bad? When you when that happens to you, your card declines and then the app's down. You actually can't transfer. Yeah. So that always used to happen to me. Like if you go out, I find Bank West is always down on like ANZ, Saturday yeah. night. Or, and I'm always like, ANZ's oh, I'm down at night times, early mornings. Yeah, it's weird, bro. It's not a great time. Like it's I guess scary. they got to do it sometime, but I yeah. think they should pick Sunday night, not Saturday, Friday. Missing a green light just as you're approaching. Such a shit feeling. Whenever you see green, you're hopeful to make it, only to have your dreams shattered moments later. That's awful. A yeah. horrible feeling. And then they start adding up. You start getting four reds. You're thinking, fuck, this genie's yeah. taking 10 minutes. You start punching your own car. Right. And like, it does feel like an eternity. He mentioned mm. it when you missed that green. My car, this happened the other day, side note. This is an average feeling, right? Yep. My car, I try to keep like relatively clean on the inside. Yep. So it's always in pretty good condition. I'd say it's always in like a 7.6 type condition. Yeah, yeah. And then I pulled down, when I drive, the sun affects my eyes a lot. Mm-hmm. don't know why, it just does. I pulled down like the sun visor yeah. thing, pulled it down, there was a spider. Oh, fucking hell. But the spider was dead, but it was a big one. So I pulled it down. It's, it's right, no, 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 it was stuck on with like a little bit of web. But the day before it wasn't there. So I'm thinking, 
Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. jump, of course, For man. Sure, because it was so close to the vicinity of yeah, my face. Yeah, it's a spider. I was thinking, why is this little fucker being there? I don't know. Number four, losing something. Always, bro. You lose your yeah. keys, wallet. Like, it just hurts. It does hurt. You know, and you, you're looking around the house, feeling your pockets. Mm-hmm. Come on. And he goes, number five, your mate catches you out exaggerating. Just go with it. Stop questioning everything, bro. I'm just saying a story. Not reciting an oral exam in front of pal- a panel of judges. Let me say it the way I want. I get that. Man's getting called. See, I don't mind a little bit of source for the story. A, but when it's too far bit. gone, you need to be called out. Yeah. It's like, it's the classic, like, oh, I kicked the goal from 60 out. Yeah. But it was like, it, it was 48. Yeah. And you're saying like, if, you, if it's 48, you can go 55. 60 you're not you can't drop 60 bro uh, if that was me i'd go if, if i kicked it from 48 i'd go like 52 yeah but i wouldn't you can, i couldn't go too far 60 is crazy or like oh i hit this massive six at cricket yeah. and it just cleared the boundary yeah. you know what i mean but yeah or like someone dropped it over the line so do you reckon he loves to add a bit of yeah mayo yeah, on i the think story? so bro i think yeah. so too an exaggerator he's an exaggerator trust me we've all been there but I feel like we're very good on this show with being real. Yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Bro. Because quite often we're involved in some of the stories we tell, so we yeah, we have a perspective. We on would them. call each other out if it was like too bad, incorrect. But um, hey man, some people want to tell it that way. That's fine. Most definitely, let's enter the courtroom. You're about to enter the courtroom of Jamo and Dylan. The people are real, the cases are real, and the rulings are final. This is Jamo and Dylan's courtroom. I don't know where my gavel's gone, Dill. You've got one, but it's just... the other one? I don't know. It's around Three, two, one. That was probably one of our longest runs just on pre-court and confession topics, yes. you know? Yes, just because a- some of the court and confessions that were sent in this week we're using for Beyond the Valley. Yeah, so we're... So we're a bit light on those this week. We are prioritising that, but we, know, we need to be prepared. It's a big moment. It is. But, um, I guess we'll just cover, you know? We will. Standard. Well, this is a long one, mate, so have fun. Big court case... Oh, this one's hard to follow. So just Bonnie. get get your listening ears on because I had a read of this read the this other one day. Before. Um, it is hard to follow. Okay, I'm gonna but just try it. When I say the names, just try okay. and picture people in your head um, so it's easier. I'm sitting okay? in. Let's do it. Hey, guys, here's a story or court case, however you want to use it. Um, basically, it's too long for BTV, so we'll, we'll use yeah, it today. Yeah, we don't want to bore them. This is a story about my two friends. Let's call them Grace and Harry. Okay. To set the scene, Grace and Harry and I were bestest of friends. Nice. So these three are best friends. Yep. Has is a playboy. I'm just thinking that already. How about this? We all lived less than 500 metres from each other and the <sighs> three of us hung out every single oh, day. Oh, hell yeah, you did. We did everything together and were inseparable for the best part of high school. We yeah. all went to the same school as my cousin. Let's call her Bella. Okay. okay. So now the fourth three in the Three gal. One man. No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. Three gal, one man. Yeah. Throughout one summer. Sorry. <clears throat> and summer holidays, bro. Throughout one summer, Harry and Bella started becoming very close. That's the cousin, right? Yes. Yeah, that's her cousin. Yes. Okay. On one random afternoon, Bella confronts me about how Harry told her that Harry and Grace had sex. Oh, no. So one random afternoon, the cousin confronts the sender yep. in her, yep, about how well, Harry... So has this slammed Grace, one of the friends? Yeah. This was very strange, especially considering Grace had a boyfriend. Oh, bro, the boy fr- best friend. It's always a red flag. Harry told Bella they had sex on multiple occasions. Yeah. And did. how she said things... Oh, ready? Hey. <laughs> ready for this? So has told Bella. Harry oh, told Grace. Bella it happened multiple times. She said things like, "Your dick is so much bigger than my boyfriend's." Big schlong, bigger than the boyfriend. I'm just going off camera. Okay. Of course, if anyone actually knew Grace, they would know that she's extremely shy, very innocent, and nothing like that would ever come out of her mouth. So, the girl so who sent Harry's it in, lying or Grace has an alter ego in the bedroom. Harry was obviously lying to get Bella's attention. Right? 
I immediately confronted Harry and he admitted what he told Bella were lies. Has you dirty dog. He just said it for clout. Is he just saying that he's got a big dick, basically? Bit weird. Okay. Grace was mortified when I told her, especially since it could have sabotaged her relationship yes, with her very, boyfriend. Yep, that's poor from Harry. Grace and I distanced ourselves from Harry because we couldn't believe he could do that. Yep. However, naturally, we became friends again months after he had desperately apologised and said he'd changed. Okay, so he's a new man. Oh, so he say he is. It went back to normal and the three of us were closer than ever. So they're back together just like that. And the friends. bond is deeper now. Months later, and after Grace had ended her relationship with her boyfriend, I invited some friends to my 18th family birthday party. This okay. included Grace and Harry. Ten minutes before everyone was about to arrive, I get a call from Harry out of absolutely nowhere. He told me that him and Grace have been in a secret relationship for the whole year. Nah, no way, bro. They'd kept it from me for nine whole months. Even when Grace and him weren't sorry, even when Grace and him weren't friends, they were actually secretly together the entire time. Was so it's, with Harry. now it's double down. It's yep. backflipped. Grace blackmailed Harry, saying that she would never speak to Harry again if he told me. So this was if he told me that they were together. So Grace has the old ego. She's the old orchestrator. Right? Wow. Harry found out Grace let it slip to one of her friends, so he thought that it was only fair that he could tell someone too, so he told me. Okay, fair, right? fair. He explained how everything he told Bella was true. And Grace had forced him into telling me it was all a lie. So she did say that your boyfriend's Fuck dick's bigger than crazy. mine. Harry was so in love with Grace that he couldn't afford to lose her. So he did anything, including jeopardizing my friendship with him. Okay, we've got one last big paragraph, right? <laughs> this is an all time. He admitted all these stories to me, like how they would sometimes have quickies while we were all hanging out. It made me rethink about all our hangouts when I didn't know. Harry was desperately apologising to me and felt so bad having to keep it from me for so long. This all came out right before half of Italy was coming over to celebrate my 18th he birthday. Probably, he could have waited, bro, till after. This is the court case. Are Harry and Grace guilty for not telling me sooner or were they just madly in love with each other? Nah, they're guilty, bro. They are guilty. Guilty. They, there's also an update. After that night, I ended the friendship with Grace. Harry and I are still friends to this day, but we aren't nearly as close as we used to be. The whole situation made us grow apart despite us having no hard feelings and all love for each other. Insane story. Goodness gracious. Crazy. So this Grace girl lied. She's quiet but conniving. She's a freak, bro. Imagine that. Like shy, has a boyfriend. So was she cheating on her boyfriend for uh, nine months or was that after? Maybe for, I don't know if it was for nine, a little but bit. for a little bit. The girl who sent that in is also Man. coming to BTV, so it'll be nice to... That is crazy. Maybe man. ask her some follow-ups in person. <laughs> Incredible stuff. What a story. That's an all-timer. Thanks for bearing with us there. That was a long one. All right, let's get on to the, the confession, Confession, yeah. It's now time to dive into your deepest and darkest confessions. Let's hear what the people have to get off their chest. I'm still shook from that story, yeah, no, That was a, elite. That's the top five for me. It's a cold world. The deal. top five of our all times, I think. It's a valid shout. I miss the Levis being love story. That's what I oh, miss, bro. bro that and one, I can't remember their name. No, I remember their profile picture. But please not reach names. out. All right, this is sent in from a young man. So he was on a date with a girl okay. and he tried to sound like a wine connoisseur. I tried to impress her, right? Oh, yep. Instead of ordering a uh, Sauvignon Blanc, he asked for a San Pellegrino, yep. which is like he said, that it's water. like Fanta. He yeah. had a, I think they do a lemon drink oh, too. Yeah. So he's probably, th you know, Italian restaurant, first date, thinking he's cool. <laughs> and then, you know, a bit of wine, you know. Hey, can I just get one San Pellegrino? Okay. Brings over a little can. Psh, Oh. She's probably thinking, what's this dog drinking? 
She's got her champagne. Crazy, bro. <laughs> That's hard to come back from a little bit. Like, unless he just rolls with it. He goes, no, nah, like this one, I, I love it, you know? Yeah, I don't know what you can do in that situation. Because it's such an odd choice of like soft drink too. I honestly, I would just concede and go, look, I stuffed up. Yeah. I tried to be cool. Yeah. Here's what it is, yeah. whatever. Then she, might, then at least she might find it a bit funny. Yeah. <sighs> I'm lucky, mate. Well, at least she's learned. Most people would find it funny. Rather. I would think it's funny. Yeah. yeah. They'd be like, oh, no, that's cute that you tried to be funny. Yeah. Like, or you tried you tried to be like, I don't know, an expert. Yeah. But really, you're just a dork. Oh, but hey, girls go, like bro. dorks sometimes. Sure. Sometimes, bro. If the dork's good looking. <laughs> yeah, he, he has to be like the dork who has the potential. Or a know? big dick. Yeah, exactly. Like old mate has. Old mate. Fucking hell, Harry. Cock. That's a man right there. That's a bad man, I think. A ba- I think he's bad. But also easily manipulated. So yeah, immature. Yes, definitely. Oh, they were in high school at this time, or maybe they they could have been just out too. If she's a late birthday, so true, crazy, most definitely. Wild story, bro. I wonder because that's a big deep confession to get off her <sighs> chest. It's so weird that the girl that sent it in was so heavily involved, but wasn't physically involved in any. She's the only it. one not getting any. <laughs> in a way <laughs> wow. That's true She wasn't like Her and Harry were true friends They weren't I wonder if there was any Ever any You know Love between her and Harry Like she must have had a crush on him I reckon once. this girl's hurt by it Yeah like, I reckon that's my, why it's taken a while wait, For her to send turn. it in <laughs> Like she uh, sent great it Great story though And Thanks B Do you reckon she's a little bit hurt? I don't know Let's see Oh she would have used fake names Hey Because I was about to go look through her Yeah I wanted to see them I've already tried Great, Great story. story. I love indeed. that story. All right. Much love, guys. We'll leave it there for this week. We'll see you next week. We have a special. No, the okay. Yeah, oh, we've two got, special Yeah, episodes. but we've got to talk about it. So next episode is the Jammo and Dylan, the Jammo and Dylan Show Awards 2023. Yeah. Like a recap thing, give out best guess. Exactly. You know, best guess. Like we'll do a couple of other questions, gauge your interest in that. Um but we'll have that link put on Instagram. So if you don't follow us there, put it on there. Sorry, follow us there. Put it on there. Yeah. I'm starting to lose my head. Should deal. we do what the guests? How should we do the guests? Do we pick or should we let them vote? No, nah, I've got it. I'll show you after All this. Right. I've got a, the list of every guest we had this year. Yeah. And then they just pick one. Sweet. Enter. I wonder like who will win that. It's actually, I find it cool. Like, it's interesting. I wonder. Oh, no, I don't want to say who I think will win because I don't want to influence voting at all. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. So we'll do it off camera though. I yeah, think yeah, I yeah. have a rough idea of who I think will, will yeah. poll well. Um, it's like Brownlow night. I for know, us. bro. Like, it's who's kind of funny. <laughs> we should start a betting agency for it. Um, and then we also have other questions, but it's going to be hard. Like, for example, like best who's punching couple of the year or something. It's hard. We can't put pictures on there and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Look out for the awards thing. That'll be next week. And then we have a special guest on the week after. Yeah, that'll be good. Which will be good. That's actually the Christmas special as well. So we'll try and make it a little bit Christmassy for that. But yeah, much love, guys. We'll see you next episode. Cheers. Thank you for listening to the Jammo and Dylan Show. Make sure to subscribe to the boys on YouTube and share the podcast with a mate.